Mix a Henny and Costa With a few bitches I got on my roster Stay on the path and you'll prosper Watch out for the snakes and the grass and imposters What it do YouTube? It's your boy Just Anderson Come to another upload In today's upload we will be discussing The Adidas Crazy BYW Select So let's get into it First things first before we start I would like you guys to do me a huge favor and just like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the algorithm. Last video, we got 30 likes, so I'm hoping in this video we can get at least 30 to 40 likes. If you guys could do that for me, that'd be much appreciated. But now, finally, let's get into the video. As always on this channel, first we're gonna talk about the traction. The traction on the crazy BYW Select is a rubber multi-directional traction with middle pods for more traction, as you can see right here. My honest review on the traction on the Crazy BYW is that they're average at best. So seven out of 10, six out of 10, around that range. They don't squeak at all. You're gonna feel comfortable moving, but it's not the best. It's not like a Kyrie, it's not like a Paul George. It's not even like the way of waves. It's just your average, you know, traction, you know, get, get it done type of traction. I feel like if you're just looking for a shoe that, you know, will just get the job done traction wise, then this is definitely the shoe to go with. The traction is nothing spectacular, it's just average. There's nothing to really look forward to about it. It's just okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes average is the best thing you could do. But with this one, it's just, yeah, it's nothing crazy, nothing spectacular. Just your average traction that just gets the job done. And I think because it's rubber, well my pair is rubber, that you could most likely take these outside and play basketball in them. So if you would want to use these as a hoop shoe outdoors, you possibly can, because with this traction setup, I know some of them are translucent, but this one is rubber. And as you can see, it's pretty hard. So you could take these outside. But like I said, average traction at best. Next, I like to talk about the cushioning setup on the BYW Select. BYW Select has a mixture of cushioning or a hybrid, you could say, of lightning strike cushioning and a boost midsole. The cushioning, just like the traction is average, you know, when I was playing in it, I was expecting a little bit more, something more comfortable because I know like a lot of people like Boost. Personally, me, I didn't really enjoy it. Well, there was nothing really to it, really to enjoy. It was just okay. Like you know, I felt you know a little court feel. I felt a little responsiveness, but nothing that's like mind blowing. You know, so honestly, I don't think the cushioning's that all that. Same thing with the traction. I would just rate it like six to seven out of ten. Nothing insane, nothing too crazy. I would just make these my outdoor shoe, if I'm being completely honest with you, so far of after playing in them. That I played indoors, I didn't play outdoors with them, so I'm gonna try these outdoor. But it's so far getting the outdoor shoe mixed with the cushioning and the traction just being average. And yeah, like nothing really spectacular with the cushioning setup. It's just okay. Next on the BYW Select, we're gonna talk about the materials. The materials on the BYW Select has a textile lining with a padded upper and lace loops for added support when tying your shoes and being ready to lock yourself in for game day. Or, you know, a little pickup runs. I feel like the materials are the real selling point of this shoe because the upper is very breathable. The padding around your ankle is okay, nothing crazy. But the breathability is where this shoe is really good at. And I feel like it's the best part of this shoe. Personally, I had to tie my shoes a certain way just to get them to feel right on my feet because when I first took them out the box and I laced them up, they were kind of choking my ankle and it wasn't like a good choke. So I had to take them out of certain loops just to, you know, get a comfortable feel in the shoe. All in all though, the materials are the best part. That's what I'm gonna say. The traction's okay, the cushion's okay, but all in all, the materials are definitely the best part of the shoe. Next, we're gonna talk about the fit on the BYW Select. The fit on the BYW Select, as you know, with all my shoes, I go true to size. My true size is a nine and a half, and you know, they worked out perfectly for me. I wouldn't go a size up or down, just get your true size. But if you wanna try them on, I suggest going to an Adidas store, don't go to Foot Locker go to an Adidas store because I doubt Foot Locker, JDs, or Champs are gonna have these in the store. So I'll go to Adidas store. So if you live in New York, go like Roosevelt Field Mall, and you can definitely find these and try them on and do your thing. Or you could go to the city, because there's a nice Adidas store in the city, and you can definitely try these on and just see, you know, what size works best for you. If I'm being real with y'all, I did not try these on in store. So just don't call me a fraud, hold on. Adidas was having a sale. I always want to try these. 
So I copped these and I just got my true size and it worked out like, you know, magic. It was just, you know, good on my feet. Felt like all my other shoes was just amazing. So I would, suge I would suggest just getting your true size. Don't go up, don't go down. If you don't believe me, like I said, go to an Adidas store because you're not gonna find these in JDs or Foot Locker. Well, at my JDs and Foot Lockers, I don't find them, so I doubt you're gonna find them. So just go to an Adidas store and you can definitely try these things on. My thoughts on the BYW is like, they're an average shoe at best, average, nothing. And it's, this is like the second average shoe that I tested. Like, if I'm being real with y'all, my first average shoe was the GT Cut 2s. After, like, after I did the video, I decided to keep playing the GT Cut 2s and I didn't really like them, I can't lie. I don't, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not jacking those. <laughs> I'm not jacking those. And these are just gonna be in that column. You know, I'll wear them here and there. Probably training them, cause you know, break down the cushion a little more. But like, they're just an average shoe. Nothing, nothing bad, nothing too good. Just right there in the middle of average. So if you wanna cop them, you can. It's up to y'all. Would I recommend them for serious hoopers or like, you know, serious runs and like, no. I wouldn't recommend these, not at all. But if there's some that you just want to buy and like, you know, they're in your price range, they will get the job done for you. I promise you that. But if you're looking for like a good hoop shoe to like really like get down and gritty, that you got a tournament the next day, nah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you guys to buy these. But they do have a cool future. They come with like little stickers. You know, I took my stickers, my stickers off and I put this smiley face guy on mine. You're gonna see, you're gonna see when I panel the shoe, but that, that was a cool feature. But besides that, average shoe, so nothing, nothing crazy. But, you know, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been showing me on my shorts, on my videos. Like, we're trying to get to these 3,000 watch hours so your boy could just, you know, be more on YouTube more and just enjoy it. Like, I'm loving all you guys, man. You guys are really showing support. I love when people comment. I always respond to y'all comments, so just keep it coming. But this is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, push the notification bell, and it's your boy Just Anderson, and I'm out. Love y'all, man. Peace.